because many times with the ups and downs that we have in our life and we all have them they come at the most unexpected times which is what real challenges do don't they that we will find that we're fluctuating with our nervous system sometimes things are coasting really well other times everything just goes rather chaotic Hello and welcome back. Now, just before we get started, if you're watching this on the Total Somatics YouTube channel, don't forget to like, share, subscribe and press the notification bell. So every time an episode is released, you find out very soon. Well, this is an exciting time of the year because if you're listening to this in September 2024, and it's applicable any time that you pick up this episode, but every year in September, for many years now, within Total Somatics, I've held the theme Somatic in September. And I just feel it's a really important time. If you're in the Northern Hemisphere, you're moving into a new season, which is going to be autumn. Here in the Southern Hemisphere, we're moving into a new season, which is spring. And because of that, with seasons come changes. And sometimes what it's really good to do is stop and assess and see how we're feeling internally and also to see what's happening externally which may be having an influence on our well-being so because of that reason somatic in september is something i love to really bring through every year but you can apply this all through the year and you're going to see that i've created a resource for you to cover us through the entire month of september so every week I'm going to be developing a different theme and providing resources for you um, so that we can really delve deep into how we're feeling individually. It's sometimes easy for people to point the finger and start talking about other people and individuals, but this is really important for ourselves for that true self-assessment. So what I'd like to share with you first is if you're listening to this on the podcast platforms. I just want you to know that if you go to the Total Somatic YouTube channel, you're gonna see that I'm gonna hold up an image here. So that's what I'm doing. If you're listening to this just on audio, I'm just gonna be holding up a little PDF. So this is something I've created for people to download. You can find this resource within the show notes. If you're listening to this again on a podcast, just audio only, you'll find the resource there. If you're watching this on the Total Somatics YouTube channel, you'll find that you can get the PDF link there. So what we've got here is I've entitled this Reconnect. And it's a really important word to use when we're thinking of somatic in September, because many times with the ups and downs that we have in our life, and we all have them, they come at the most unexpected times, which is what real challenges do, don't they? That we will find that we're fluctuating with our nervous system. Sometimes things are coasting really well. Other times everything just goes rather chaotic. And so because of that, we can begin to disconnect from ourselves. And so what I want to use this episode for, first of all, is to encourage you first and foremost to download that particular PDF. And if you have a printer available, do print it out, please do. Because you'll notice, again, I'm going to bring it up to the camera, you'll notice that down the sides, I've actually created just that little white column. That's done deliberately. So while we're going through something each week with Somatic in September, you can write notes just again what are applicable for you um, and how you can move forward with that. And so what I want to do, first of all, is highlight to you, first of all, that in the top left box, it says Soma Scan. Obviously, I'm going to develop that as we go along. But I just want to hold on to the word Soma for the moment. Because it's a word that I use a lot, I will use it throughout the next few weeks. And if you're new to that, I just want to give you a very brief overview of what your Soma is and how this is going to come into play. And basically what it is, is we are all individual. We're all so unique. We're all so special. You know, there's you and I are just this one of us in the world, which is pretty cool, isn't it? But the thing is as well, is that our soma, we are somas. And so a soma is a giant sensory organism. We are giant sensory organisms. When you look at our makeup, our nervous system, we are more sensory than motor. We have so many more sensory nerves. We've got all these amazing senses, you know, listening, taste, smell, sight, you know, all of these things enrich our life. However, what can happen is we can have a lot of turmoil, a lot of trauma, a lot of stress. We can have injuries, repetitive strain aspects, all sorts of things that can come into our life. And what it starts to do as an individual soma, as individuals that we are, 
it starts to sculpt and mold and shape who we are. So if that's biomechanically, so the way that we move, the way that we sit with our posture, is it because it could also be our emotional and mental well-being again different things will sculpt and shape our soma and so that's why it's really important to consider this for ourselves as we go through the next few weeks because only we know what's truly happened in our life we know how we're feeling from day to day we've got this incredible nervous system that is wanting to keep us alive it's keeping us in that survival and protective mechanism but what we want to do is harness that powerful property of wanting to keep us in survival and protection and know that we can live in this state of just like equilibrium we have a little bit of stimulation and a little bit of relaxation because the survival protection state can sometimes be really dialed up and it can make us really hyper alert and hypersensitive very reactive to things and so as we go through the next few weeks, we're going to look at how we can just nurture and take really good care of our soma. Because our soma consists of our emotional, our mental, our physical and our energetic health. All of that is encompassed. Every single cell in our body has that resonance, that frequency. And we want everything to shimmer and glow. We really do want to feel good, well, healthy and, and truly thrive as we move forward with our life. And as we can all testify to this, we even I know with myself, there's some really horrific times when we look back in our life. But it's truly incredible how our nervous system has helped us. And you look back and you think, you know, our soma is pretty amazing to have that resilience to come out of some incredible situations, even if we've got a few bruises and scars, you know, to show for it, figuratively speaking. And so for that reason, that's why I'd like you to today get it, print this off if you can, because it'd be absolutely brilliant and just stick it on the wall if that's great. I mean, I've got one of these at home it's stuck on the wall um, because I like to use it as a, a regular practice. And that's why I created it and thought I'm going to share this with you because it's a really important thing for us all to, to apply on a daily basis. So that's why you can take these episodes and just play them back any time of the year it's applicable it's just i like to bring something in in september to really get us to reassess where we are with our health and well-being so please do print that off um, have a look through it get familiar with some of the things you might actually just start today going through some of those prompts there and what we'll do next time and for the next few weeks we're going to just take a few little boxes and we're going to just dissect it a little bit more and i'm going to add some resources to resources to this also so that you've just really filling out um everything to really nurture take care of your beautiful soma um, as we use this month this special month to take good care of yourself so as we move forward you've got some things to go back to at different times as a bit of a recalibration tool and just to let you know as the heads up go right at the end of this month i'm going to open the total somatics online membership doors so if you've been thinking about coming and joining for a while please please come along you're going to see that what i'm going to share with you for the next few weeks is just a snippet of the content and the support that i can prov provide to you within the membership and i know that total somatics members globally will also mention this too is that it's just i'm there constantly in the membership supporting creating content for you so that again i'm really listening to where you're at with your health and well-being so look out for that announcement and if you're not already subscribed to these podcasts or to my total somatics blog which goes out every week please do because you will get notified very quickly and finally if you do want to be on the total somatics um, online membership waitlist so you'll find out exactly when I open the doors and they only open for a few days because my focus is to get back into the membership to take care of the total somatics members if you go to totalsomatics.com click on the join now page and that will take you to the waitlist and if you're watching this and the membership doors are already open come on in because they'll close in a few days and um, I'll see you on the inside but until next time, all my love and my very best wishes. Take care. Bye. Thank you for joining me today. If you've enjoyed this episode, please leave a rating and also forward this on to somebody you know will benefit. To learn more about pain relief, plus how to improve your health and well-being, go to totalsomatics.com. Until next time, take care.